And now we must continue to work together to ensure a fair and equitable recovery. As we begin taking steps towards recovery, I'm proud of Wells Fargo's efforts to support our customers, our employees, and the communities we serve, all while continuing to transform our organization. I believe our country and communities benefit from a strong Wells Fargo, and I'm proud that we've been a source of strength for our customers and communities during the toughest of times. They are our core and must remain our priority in all we do. To support our customers during the pandemic, we deferred payments and waived fees for more than 3.7 million consumer and small business accounts to help people to make ends meet. We provided over 1 million mortgage forbearances and suspended residential property foreclosures and evictions to keep Americans in their homes. And we acted as, the lead, as a leading lender in the Paycheck Protection Program, funding more than $13.7 billion in aid to small businesses. Over 40% of our loans were made to businesses located, located in low to moderate income or majority minority census tracts. Recognizing that the goal of the PPP was to provide a lifeline to struggling small businesses, we also took the more than $400 million in fees generated by the program in 2020 and are donating them to our Open for Business Fund, which is allowing us to engage CDFIs, not-for-profits, and others to help businesses manage the economic effects of COVID-19. And we will continue to do our part by working on solutions to tackle the problem of unbanked and underbanked individuals and other efforts to foster an inclusive recovery. We look forward to defeating the impact of the pandemic together and believe Wells Fargo will play an important role in helping rebuild a stronger America. To our employees, I'm proud of the work you've done over the past year to support our customers and communities during these uncertain times. We prioritize safety and well being, and my deepest gratitude goes out to our frontline workers who made it possible to keep branches open safely. We transitioned more than 200,000 employees to remote work last March, and we understood the tremendous strain the pandemic would place on all of our employees and their families. We made special cash awards to approximately 165,000 employees, offered enhanced support for employees who are parents or caregivers, provided free voluntary COVID-19 testing for all employees working in a Wells Fargo location, and offer paid time off to employees for vaccination appointments. For the communities we've served, we've continued to invest in the institutions critical to their success. While we're very encouraged to be seeing signs of improvement, we realize that not all of our communities are benefiting equally in their recovery. This is why Wells Fargo has been working to support a more inclusive economic recovery with a focus on racial and social equity, economic mobility, and investments in low and moderate income communities. For example, we're investing in Black-owned minority deposit institutions across the country as part of our $50 million commitment to support MDIs. And we have given more than $150 million to CDFIs around the country who are providing grants to hard-hit small businesses. Additionally, just last week, we announced our Banking Inclusion Initiative, a 10-year commitment to accelerate unbanked individuals' access to affordable mainstream accounts and helped unbanked communities have easier access to low-cost banking. We are also committed to helping transition to a low-carbon economy and have set a goal of achieving net zero greenhouse gas emissions, including our financed emissions by 2050. And finally, for our company, while we still have significant work to do, we're committed to devoting the resources necessary to operate with strong business practices and controls and maintain the highest level of integrity and have an appropriate culture in place. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.